Hello, my name is Hater. I like to study backups and Bacula, and today I'm going to display you the Bacula Enterprise client installation. Okay, this is very easy. I I have here a Windows 2012 server machine. Okay, if you are a Bacula system customer, you have your own repository, so you can simply access your Windows repository and download the specific client for your architecture, for example, 64 bits architecture, okay? Just download the package. If, of course, if you have a, a Linux machine, you have the APT or the YUM repository also. Uh, I already downloaded the client, the client package. So uh, let me proceed here, just run the package read and accept the terms of the license agreement. Here, you mostly want to use automatic, hardly you're going to use custom. Custom is if you will want to, to script uh, a client automatic deploy, such as with login script or massive deploy. This is not hardly the case, this is not always the case, so just choose automatic. Uh, for the client, you don't need the consoles, you don't need the documentation, because here it's a, a, a production machine, so probably you will just need the client to make backups of this machine and the Bacula Enterprise plus some plugins for Bacula Enterprise. You have another plugins, but then you have the separate package for them. Just proceed with next. This information here is important. You must know the real director name. Okay, so I already have a Bacula server, uh, the Bacula director installed, and also the BWeb, which is the Bacula Enterprise uh, graphical interface. Just come here at configuration, configure Bacula, and click here to check your director name. So just you can, you can just copy this information here. It is case sensitive, so it's wise to copy this information. So I just copy the information, go into paste that the installation here, the installer. It is case sensitive, so be careful. And then install, proceed with installation. It will take something like 10 seconds or 15 seconds to finish. Okay, you can just finish the, the installation. For the client, you are also going to add a firewall exception. By default, the Windows clients, they receive uh, connections through the port 9102. TCP, okay, just or turn off the firewall, or even better, just add an exception for Bacula port. At least you need to access the Bacula client configuration here. You can just come at the start menu and uh, find Bacula or JIT client configuration, okay? You can see that your director name is here it, this is important okay because you put that at the installation process uh, this is needed in order to the connection to happen and we're going to need this password here it's the uh, the first director resource here uh, the first instanza just copy this password here because director needs in order to connect to this client okay this it, it is needed to in order to attach this client to the director uh, I didn't do any change on the client configuration but if I have did any if I did any change here you must come to the Windows service manager okay and restart the the service here to apply any changes okay. That is it. I copy the password, the client generated password, and then I can go back to my Bacula server. Okay, come here at configuration, configure Bacula. And we're going to add a new backup client. Okay. You just click here at the plus to create a new backup client. 
at the plus sign, I'm going to edit with the one that I, I, I have created in the past, so I just edit it. The first information key, it's free. You can just put any name you want to distinguish this client from another backup client, from another servers. A description, which is also pretty free. Okay, just put free description, or whatever suits you. Here you put the address of your Windows client machine. So if you don't know, just come back at your Windows and just do a IP config. You will see the IP of your machine. It's right. And then you just paste the password that you copied that was randomly generated at the Bacula client installation. Okay, just paste it here and save it. That's it. It's too easy. Then you come at work set, you click in comments to apply this new configuration, this new information. And I like to do that now be, uh, before proceeding with another configurations because I, I have the opportunity here to test it. If everything we done until now, if it is correct, okay, I will show you how to do that. Then just put clicking reload, restart reload, and then the new configuration will be applied. So come back to the Bacula Enterprise initial page, the landing page here, just click in Bacula Enterprise. Then click in clients, okay, in the clients menu here. Then select the client you just created, okay, the Windows 2012 here in my case, and then click status. This way you test if your attachment it was correctly done. If you don't have a, 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 a firewall, if you don't have any problem with your password, the connection will happen. Actually, clicking this status here is better because it's graphical. So if I, I fetch the version of the client, if I have this screen here, this is success, okay? I was able to install the Windows client and connect to it. Now I am able to proceed with this client configuration, okay? So I'm going to configure a new file set, which is the list of folders or, or files that we're going to backup. And now, so the backup job itself, which is the element that we're going to run in order to backup the Windows file set, okay? So I'll just go to config configuration again, configure Bacula. I'm going to file sets, and then you are going to add a new file set here, okay? Because I already created it, I'll just edit the Windows 2012. In order to include paths to my backup, you come here and just add a include list, okay? By, by myself, I just edit my list here. At this moment, you can choose the client that you're going to backup information and it makes it uh, much easier because you can just browse here, okay? Just navigate into the client's machine uh, directories and then choose you just click here at add selection in order to add directory to your backup. At this screen also, I could enable the Bacula plugins if I have another more advanced plugins, plugins such as Microsoft SQL, such as LDAP and another stuff. But I won't do that for now, okay? I won't do any plugin at this video. I will just proceed with my paths included. Here you can put a uh, integrity verification signature. Uh, anyone, you can use MD5 or SHA1. The performance is pretty much the same. And Bacula software compression, LZO is the lightest one. And you might use Bacula compression if you're storing backups to disk because for tapes, you don't need it because tapes usually compress data. So I'll just proceed. Uh, if you want to put uh, any description, you can, okay? Uh, free description, the same thing. 
put whatever you want here. I'm going to save. And at least I'm going to add a new backup job. The backup job is the summarization, okay, of every object we add here. Just add a new backup job. I already have it here. I'm just going to edit it. The job name is free. You just put anything you might want to use. Job devs, it's uh, very nice to use a job dev because it fetch some default backup job information, so, such as schedule or storage. Normally, you will have uh, a default storage or default schedule, so it's nice to use a default job with fields everything with the full information it's easier to edit them then choose the client that you just we just added in this video choose the file set that you just created okay the information that you're going to backup and that's it this other information here are just default for example the level this is just the default level when you're going to submit an ad hoc job it doesn't mean that every backup job will be incremental, okay? On the schedule, I'll talk about that in another opportunity. You can say uh, in each day, which days, back we will run an incremental or a full backup job, okay? So it's just a default. You don't really need to change it here. Just save the backup job. Click in work set. Let's go into apply the changes we made. Now, let's test our new backup job. Just come here in Jobs, Define Jobs. Click in the new backup job that you just created. I'm going to change here to a full. If you never did a backup job if, and you submit an incremental, it will automatically upgrade to a full backup job. This is no problem. And then, back will start running. For every Windows client, it normally, uh, it by default, it runs uh, a snapshot of the backup and volumes because it guarantees the integrity of uh, Windows copy add files, okay? It generates a snapshot. And at the end here, it will tell you backup okay. So this backup job job was uh, perfect, okay? And then we can restore from this backup job. You can just click here to go back to the, the status job screen and just click in restore. Or we could use the jobs web restore interface and then choose the client and whatever. You will come back to the same. You will come to the same uh, information here. So then you in the history screen you can navigate to your backend files. Okay. So these are the paths, the directories that uh, we backend backend up. So just click here, dragging to here the directories that you want to restore. I will accept this file selections. Okay. Then. The, the main thing that we usually change here is the where, the destination directory for this history. So I'll just create an in director here. By default, Backlog will restore on the same client. Okay, by restore, I could choose it if I want to restore this data to another Backlog client, but I'll just do, run the original. I just changed the directory of restoration. And then I can proceed with the the restore. That directory doesn't need to exist. Back will create it automatically. So let's go to my Windows Server machine. Let's find out if he created the. Yeah, he just created the Bacula. Uh, TNP, TNP, and just restore the, the the folder that we selected. So this is success. This is very easy. 
there is no secret doing that, okay? And I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, okay? See you next time in another videos.